Welcome back to my channel and to another grocery haul. I went to Walmart and spent $92 and some change. So I went over a little bit on my budget and I did it all by myself. I didn't even have my husband there with me. But I did buy a new night shirt and some deodorant which if you count that you probably if I was to take that like out of my miscellaneous fund or my clothing fund then technically I would have just spent $80 you know what I'm saying um, but we're not gonna be that picky or choosy we are going to turn you guys around but first if you are new here welcome to my channel we'd love to have you as part of our family here on YouTube if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button that like bell thing I really don't feel good today I'm so sorry if I feel if I come across not as chipper as normal my belly is on fire um, but I made it through Walmart and I'm gonna show you guys what we uh, got at Walmart for those of you guys who are returning to me thank you so much for keep coming back and um, watch my videos week after week if you have any easy simple meal ideas for dinners throughout the week really quick i'm talking like 30 minutes or less meals to make you let me know down below i was disappointed at walmart today we live in a very small town and so we don't get a ton of like new things coming out it seems like it's always the same stuff every week over and over and over I really don't have time during a lot of times I travel 20 minutes away from my house and go to like Aldi um, but I just don't have time to do that during football season so we're kind of just stuck with the same old same old but I'm gonna turn around and share with you guys our meal plan and what I bought at Walmart this week let's see and I really wasn't feeling grocery shopping today um, because like I said I don't feel real well I don't know if I've got like a little stomach bug or what the deal is in my life right now but I'm not feeling it we had four football games yesterday and let me tell you something I'm still wore out we were on the football field from like 12 o'clock all the way until like 10 o'clock at night yesterday so I'm like extremely extremely exhausted I still have a whole bunch of work to do for my sticker shop on Etsy it's a mess okay it's a mess okay so I got some snack cakes those are like zebra cakes there and these are pumpkin cakes right here my husband loves those I got some chicken I'm gonna try this uh, chicken bacon um, like casserole dish this week so I got some chicken um, I got some hash browns just because I wanted them no particular reason for that and then tater tots I got some shredded cheese in here I got these two bags of potato chips you notice that I got one small sour cream and then I got a big barbecue that's because I didn't have any of the little ones left um, so I just went ahead and picked up the my husband loves these great value barbecue chips so I just went ahead and got the big one I got a thing of ketchup we got some lunch meats here we got the ham and cheese loaf we got some honey ham and then we got some rotisserie chicken breast um, I really like these great value um, sliced deli meats um, and it's a fair price as well I got some diced ham for salads I got another thing of kielbasa we're gonna be having cabbage and kielbasa for dinner tonight um, so I went ahead and picked up another thing of that for it I already have the cabbage on hand and I had the kielbasa but I ate it um, at, we ate ate like breakfast for dinner one night last week so I ended up eating the kielbasa um, we got some yucky cheese right there um, I got a cucumber for salads we're gonna have burgers this week um, and tater tots so I went ahead and picked up a four pack of burgers um, my oldest son won't be home so we'll have that one night when he's not gonna be here and then some hamburger buns to go with that and then I needed some cream of chicken to go along with that uh, pasta bake that I'm going to be making. I've never tried it before, but I've seen the recipe on Pinterest, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. 
I went ahead and picked up this Skinny Girl Buttermilk Ranch. Um, somebody was telling me about how good this was. I'm not usually a big fan of buttermilk. Um, ranch, I like regular ranch, but I'm going to give this a try, although it looks real thin in there um, for buttermilk. So we will see. We'll give it a try. Let me know if you guys have tried that before. I needed some deodorant, and I like Dove, so that's what I got. Got a bag of cereal back there. We finally worked through all the cereal that was in our house, so we got that. I got this multi-grain bread for myself. I love this bread. I love making sandwiches and taking it to work with me. Something simple and easy. I got some of these, just a little four pack of these Hawaiian rolls for lunch boxes this week. I got a some Roma tomatoes for salads there. We're also going to be having BLTs this week. I should have got a beefsteak tomato, but I didn't. So we'll probably have to run to the store to get that on BLT night. We got some bread here, a big old thing of lettuce for salads and BLTs. Uh, we got blueberry muffins because they're life right now. And then Jack really likes iced honey buns, so I went ahead and picked up a box of those as well. I got three pounds of bacon. Um, I really like this hickory smoked bacon, the great value kind. Um, really good cut of bacon. Um, and it's three, like 56, I think. So I needed one for the chicken bake, and then I need two pounds to do BLTs because when we have BLTs, each of my kids will eat two sandwiches. My husband will eat two or three. So we usually use two pounds of bacon when we do BLTs. Um, we're also going to do pork chops. I prefer cooking up these thin ones, um, these thin pork chops, only because um, they're really fast to make, and that's what my life is all about. So we have that, we have some scalloped potatoes, the twin pack, because again, my kids are, my family, my boys love these. There's never any left over, but I have to make two packs at a time to do that. Again, the um, fruit section at Walmart this week was just not very good. The best fruit that I found were these grapes, and they happen to be on sale for $1.08 a pound. So I went ahead and picked these up. Um, I'm becoming, I guess I'm going to have to try, like, um, we do have a local grocery store here. Um, I don't generally like to go to that grocery store. Um, but I think I might have to try getting some fruits there, or at least walk in and see what their selection is. Because Walmart's just sucking. It's probably because it's changing seasons, things are going out of season, new things are coming into season. So that's probably why um, I hope that farmers out there are not struggling to produce fruits and veggies um, because that would be really bad for them. I I love buying fruits and veggies, but I'm not going to buy them if they already look bad, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you guys? I don't know. Um, we have PB&J. I bought these, okay. Let's see. I talked about these last week. Um, and uh, I don't know if my kids will like them so much. They look like it's a lot of bread with the peanut butter and jelly on the inside. Um, but we're going to give them a try and see how they like them. It says that there's two minis per pouch and there's ten of them in there. So that's probably not going to be like like replacement for a sandwich but I figured I just bulk it up with other stuff in their lunchbox um, it'd probably be perfect for Liam but it, it, Jack will need way more than just two of these little mini things in here but we're gonna give it a try and see if they like them and like I said I'll just have to add more stuff to Jack's lunch lunchbox because these two little things aren't gonna feed that kid um, they'll be perfect for Liam though and it says that it's got seven grams of protein in there and it has no high fructose corn syrup and it also says it's real peanut butter so we're gonna give that a try did you know that today at Walmart again there's no butter like the only butter at my Walmart is block butter or country crock butter and I just don't I'm not a big fan of country crock butter so, I don't know what's going on with that. I sent my husband, because I need the butter for the cabbage and kielbasa. So, I sent my husband to go pick up butter at the local grocery store. 
hopefully they have something other than country crock there. I picked up one of these because they didn't have my, they didn't have my Carmo Macchiato Delight creamer. They were sold out of it. So I just went ahead and picked up this thing that's got the um, coffee and the creamer inside of it. I've never tried one of these. This says for 12 fluid ounces, it's 120 calories. So we'll see. We'll see if I like it better than my Stoke coffee. I really like Stoke coffee. And then I needed the rigatoni noodles for that chicken bake. Um, I'm probably going to take the three pounds of chicken. I'm going to put part of that inside this chicken bake. And then I'm probably just going to grill up the rest of that chicken for like salads or something. My oldest child will just eat chicken breast. He'll just pull it out of the refrigerator and just eat it by the chicken breast. You know what I mean? So if I don't end up eating it, he will. It'll be fine. Um, and then I ended up getting this Honest Kids Happily Ever After Organic Apple Juice Drinks. Um, my son, my youngest son, asked me for apple juice, okay? And I am not a big fan of too much juice. Um, it's bad for the teeth, you know what I mean? Um, so this says it's got half the sugar in it and it's organic. So we're going to give it a try, okay? Sweetened only with fruit juice, 100% vitamin C. Um, we're going to see. We're going to see, okay? I He asked me for it. I didn't want to buy the actual jug of uh, juice, of apple juice. So, um... We're going to try this out, let them get some apple juice in, and see where we go with that. You know what I mean? And then I just got a half gallon of milk. That's usually all we go through in a week's time. Um, I hate wasting milk. I hate waste, wasting food in general because it's always so pricey. It costs so much money. Groceries are something that... I really try only to buy what we're going to eat that week. Most of the time I'm successful. Some of the times I am not. Um... But for 90 bucks for a week of groceries for a family of five is not bad. Um, like I said, my oldest son, he is not here all the time. So he will, you know, come and go, you know, he's 17 years old. So a lot of times he's eating dinner here. Sometimes he's not. Um, and I try to plan accordingly for that. But that is pretty much it. Oh, do you guys want to see my night shirt? Disregard my floors and stuff. I'm getting ready to mop. I bought this little night shirt. It was on clearance for four dollars. I really like night shirts. I wear them to sleep all the time. Anyway, we are going to get off of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. We'd love to have you and let me know in the comment box below what you're making for dinner this week. Ideas, thoughts, um, and we'll see you guys next week for another grocery haul. Bye.